Who are you? Um, I am... I think I am... The first thing that like popped up in my head was that I'm a girl, but I think I'm trying to be a woman. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Um, but other words that pop up is I am an abolitionist. I think I take pride in that part of my identity, um, in that kind of desire for freedom and um, that makes me really want to engage with um, the people and the things around me um, and I am someone who really likes to talk and also talk with others and listen and just communicate whether that's in words or in just cuddling <laughs> or um, playing music or dancing um, but yeah I like when people open up to me and I can open up to them and I'm a very smiley person can't control it but it's genuine <laughs> um, and the Korean American I think that has had significant influence on who I am but that does that's not the only thing I am, and I try to be, I don't know, I think I try to be nationally neutral, if that's possible, but it's I think hard to resist the Korean nationalism that kind of pervades, like, I don't know, a lot of the older generation and the media and stuff like that. Um, but it's, it's confusing, I think, being both Korean and American, because in Korea, I'm like a foreigner, because I've been away for a while, but in the U.S., I'm Korean, because I look like this, and my, most of my family's back in Korea, um, but, and I think, Bouncing back and forth between those two nations, I got more curious about how, like, my nationality affects me and made me want to travel more and see how different nations shape other people. This is beginning to sound very socianthy. I got into socianth at Swarthmore. Um, I think I'm gonna do a special major with that in education. Which excited about. Um, I realize those are the two classes this semester that I'm actually into, the other two, Econ and Poli Sci <laughs> um, But I think I'm a curious learner. I discover that, like, you know, I guess I've always been, but I didn't recognize that I was until, like, in the last few years. And, um, I like to hoard books. I don't always even like read them, but I, like when I see a like promising book, I just have to get it. So now when I travel, I like buy books. I read the first few pages, and then it sits in my bookshelf, and I'm like, over break, I'll read it. I never get to it. Um, 
And let's see. I mm, really like museums. Um, I can spend like the whole day there. And and the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Let me just look at the poster. That's inspiring. This is part of my answer. Um, but on Friday nights, they play live. They have live bands come over and play. And I think that's like my favorite place to be in Philly on Friday nights. Um, yeah. I have very like, sometimes I feel like I was born into the wrong century. Like some like romantic nostalgia for the past. <laughs> but I think my hobbies don't really match up with too many other people of my age. When I go to Tango I'm always the youngest and most people are like fifty and sixty. Um at museums there are and sometimes I run into people my age but not often enough. I like old people. Nothing against old people. I really like my grandmas and my grandpa. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with old people. I have friends who, are, who don't know what to do when they're around old people, but I like them. I think they're funny. I think they're wise. They're also very like young and like naive in a way. Is that condescending? No. <laughs> um, yeah. I really like mountains and waterfalls a lot. I like hiking. I don't even own really like hiking gear, but I'm not even that outdoorsy. But I like being surrounded by greens and whatnot. Um, and I really like babies. They're cute. Mm. No. I like letting my mind just bounce around things as you can kind of see happening right now. <laughs> um, I like slowing down, I think, once in a while. I get wrapped up in busyness and then I step back, I go into the crumb. I went earlier today and it was really nice. It was sunny and but I slipped on the mud. <laughs> um, I'm afraid of dogs. I like them like from afar. I don't like it when they get too close and they start jumping on me. I'm more of a cat person. But I never really owned either of them. I'm a pet turtle. And I like to say it recognized me because when it saw me, it would like freak me. But when it saw strangers, it would like go hide. Um, yeah. I don't know. I like animals, but I don't think I have as much connection as some other people with animals because I never was around them too much. Um, yeah. I try to be as fully present um, as possible and not worry too much about the future so it'll, it'll happen something will happen <laughs> um, and I, I like talking to strangers even though I'm not always brave enough to but whenever it happens I'm really glad it happened that's why I like the soapbox activity. Um, yeah. My mind's run out of things to say now. <laughs> okay. And is that your answer? Uh, I think I'm good. Okay, thank you.